Hey folks, Lindsay, Pickup Man 66 from the Reef Forums, here with another Archon video for you. A question was asked, how do you control a return pump with a switch? For instance, if your tank is too high, how do you shut that pump off? Or if your tank, if your sump is too low, how do you shut the pump off to prevent damage? So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to program that. We're going to start over here in the Inputs tab. And this is showing our inputs. You can see our switches located right here. Uh, one, two, three, four on the Archon and A and B on my SL2. We're going to start with, we're just going to use switch one here. You'll notice it's in the open position currently. The way the Archon reads switches are in a zero and a one. When your switch is open, you will have a one. When your switch is closed, meaning the circuit's closed, you'll have a zero. All right, so one is open, zero is closed. Now, for this demonstration, we're going to call my tank being or my sump being low. That switch is going to open the circuit. Uh, that way, we can show you how the pump cuts off. So, there's our switches. We're all in the open, meaning my alarm should go off at this point in time. But we're going to have to program that alarm first before we do anything. So, we're going to click the system tab. It's going to take us over to our system page and then we're going to program our sump low alarm. Now there's a couple different ways you can do this. What you want to do is you'll click new and then that will give you a brand new alarm. I'm going to go ahead and just do it anyways for you. We'll click new. See our alarm 10 right here. That's our brand new alarm. We'll click show data and I'm going to call this low sump. We're going to use switch number one and like I said, open is a one, closed is a zero. So we're actually going to leave this at, we're going to put it right in the middle at 0.5. And I want it to trip when the switch is open, meaning when the switch is one. So it's higher than this number. So we're going to leave this unchecked. If our switch high level closed, then I would check this box because the trip point would become a zero. And that's it. That's it. That's all there is for this switch. And we'll hit update to save our switch. Now we'll go program our outlet. So we'll go to our outputs tab. And then we'll go down to our sump pump outlet uh, on our PC4. Or if you're wanting to control a different device, we'll stick with the sump pump functionality here. Uh, there's two different ways to do it from this point. We're going to show you the good way and the not so good way. So scroll down to your pump. Mine is a DC 6000 from Jibo, and we're going to set this up as a return pump. Now, you can set it up as a float switch. I don't recommend using that. This built-in function is mainly designed for use with an auto top-off system. So use the return pump. Click Show, and that's going to then show our programming for the return pump. Always on. I don't want any delay out of standby. I want my channel default to be on and then we will click show alarms. Here we will choose our alarm. For instance, low sump. And we want our pump to be off on low sump. Pretty simple, right? So when that alarm is active, our device will be off. And then we click save. Now if you'll notice right now, the pump is on because it was not tied to an alarm. We'll come back, that pump will turn off because our alarm will be active because if you remember, our switch was in the open position. So we'll click the Save button. It will save our data. And then our return pump will turn off because our alarm is active. And I'll show you how we see that here in a second. We'll get it to refresh this page as it repulls the data. We'll scroll down. Look, my pump is off. So that means our switch is working. When that switch open is in the open position, our pump's off. That's exactly how we programmed it. Now, to verify that, we can go over the alarms, click on that alarms tab, and this will show us the state of that alarm. It should show that that alarm is true, and that color will turn red. You can see right here that sump is low, so it is true. And that's all there is to it. Very, very simple and easy on how to program that alarm. So, again, that's how we program a return pump device to function on a float switch. If you have any other questions on how to do this, uh, catch me up with me on the forums 
and be more than happy to take care of you. Thanks.